And it's been quite the, the journey, especially in Eagle Creek, where we checked in with Alex George at the top of the hour. Let's check in with Paul now to find out when that water is going to recede. Paul. Yeah, this is the latest information in here from the National Weather Service. And I know this is a complicated graph to my right, but what I want to point out, this is for Eagle Creek uh, in southwestern Trumbull County up around Phalanx Station. I want you to notice the peak. Uh, that is our current time, 10.8 feet. Now, as we go through this evening, this river, uh, creek rather, is expected to drop on down. So that flood warning is through this evening currently going to keep an eye on that as we go through the rest of this evening. Again, this is southwestern Trumbull County uh, from Southington South, uh, just north of Braceville, dealing with that flood warning at Eagle Creek uh, through this evening. And the good news is the water uh, eventually will start dropping down later this evening. Alex was out there, showed you that water over the road a little earlier. Let's go ahead and take a look and see if we can find more showers on Doppler radar because we're not completely done with that threat of rain just yet. Uh, still dealing with a little bit of light rain uh, from uh, Lawrence County, southwest of Newcastle, down into Columbiana County tonight, or uh, just some sprinkles along 30 and south, uh, down towards Salineville, Summitville, and then over toward the West Point area, and eventually over toward Elkton, Rogers, and East Palestine. Uh, just some light sprinkles. Off to the southwest, though, more rainfall making its way off to the northeast. So uh, I'm not expecting heavy rain at all this evening. Just some showers or, or light sprinkles with this batch of rain over the next few hours. Temperatures stay cool for us tonight, though. Uh, if you thought today was cold, we're going to dip back into the 40s. But here's what I'm watching for tomorrow. Now, some dry air is finally building in across uh, northeastern Illinois and northwestern Indiana and Michigan. That will lead to some sunshine eventually tomorrow. I'm not expecting a perfectly sunny day tomorrow, but clouds will start breaking up, especially through midday. Tonight, temperatures dropping on down into the 40s. Watch for some patchy fog by first thing tomorrow morning as temperatures dip into the mid 40s and a threat of showers only around this evening into early tonight. Uh, tomorrow, a drier day and a little bit warmer, eventually getting into the upper 60s, close to 70 degrees by tomorrow afternoon uh, with some sunshine returning. Tomorrow evening looks pretty nice, just a few clouds around, and uh, dry weather continues as we go through tomorrow night and right into uh, Wednesday. For the most part, Wednesday is looking dry. There is a, a storm system close by that will try to throw some sprinkles our way uh, later in the day, but the better chance of rain not until Thursday afternoon into Thursday evening as the next storm system slides our way, and that brings unsettled weather to end the week into the weekend. Look at these temperatures. This feels more like early April than it does the 1st of June. 49 in Newton Falls, uh, 49 in Youngstown, 51 right now in Salem. And we are going to drop on down into the mid to up for upper 40s uh, through tomorrow morning. Watch for that fog and that risk of showers early. Tomorrow, better weather, some sunshine returning. We'll get these clouds out of here at least for a little bit. Highs near 70 degrees. And then as we go into tomorrow night, again, those temperatures well, are going to warm up just slightly. Pollen tracker tomorrow, a little better than it has been. Thanks to the rain this weekend, helping to wash some of that away. Uh, but eventually, uh, pollen will pick back up as we wrap up the week into the weekend. Wednesday's high, 74 degrees, some clouds around, a little bit of sunshine too. Uh, Thursday, a big part of the day stays dry. It looks like the better risk of rain and thunderstorms later Thursday. Temperatures back to 80 by Friday, and we stay mild and humid into the weekend. Chance of showers and storms both Saturday even on Sunday, just a small chance, 20% chance on Sunday. Unsettled weather with more storms around early next week. A little more of what you would expect for the first week of June as we uh, wrap up the week and go to the weekend. As Eagle Creek, though, falls back off, though, we got to make sure to stay off the road until that water is completely yeah, gone, that, right? That, that road uh, is known for its flooding up yeah. there, that's for sure, and uh, definitely want to go around that. All right, thanks, Paul. Yeah.